All right, guys. Um, we all know sometimes, even when KDPRs approved your books, sometimes you get message from them like this: hard 0.125 inch, or which is equivalent to 3.2 mm uh, millimeter, right? To your uh, books page width and 0.25 inch, which is 6.4 mm, to the page height to ensure that the image in your mass manuscript extend beyond the edge of the page. Once you've added the size, extend any image or background that you want to reach all the way to the edge of the page. All this beyond the trim line, this prevents. The essence of this is to avoid um, KDP or during publishing your book, being cut off, the information in your book being cut off from it. So that's why KDP always make sure they check this uh, for customer satisfaction. So when you get this message, it's not a threat to account termination or suspension. It's just that they want the very best for their customers and you can sort this. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve problem like this and the best way to go about making book cover. I'll have a separate tutorial on how to make good book covers without errors. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to rush things out and sort this immediately. So when you have something like this, the first thing you want to do is to First of all, I would say this, know the size of your book because it really matters. Yes, like this, um, this is Google Doc. At Google Doc, if I go straight to my file, for example, you can see page setup from here. You can see the size of my file called A5. So A5 is not equivalent to six uh, times nine. It's 5.83 times 8.27. So it means uh, Amazon might point error when you're making your book uh, Okay, when you make design here and you migrate it to Canva, you might fix problem. So in case you're not using Google Doc, you might be using uh, Microsoft Word or other software. It's your choice. Other editing software. It's your choice. You can use anyone. So this is the size of my document. And second thing, learn to calculate your book cover so that you don't make errors when doing this. So number one, how to calculate your book cover is to use the Amazon website called Amazon, um, let's say Amazon Book Cover calculator so with this you'll be able to calculate the size of your book over here now when we open this so it's going to open i'm going to show you how to do that very fast depending on how strong network is from here we have you to enter your book information the binary type if you're making ad cover or paperback you have to choose but me i want to make a paperback the interior if you're using premium color standard color or you're using black and white so let's say we're making black and white and the paper type cream or white paper i want to use white paper then at the direction uh since it's left to right normal book or you're writing in hebrew or greek you might use right to left but here it's left to right then the measurement is at inches then the interior here is choose the one you're making if it's 8.5 times 11 pick it if it is 6 times 9 which is a5 i'm going to use this because that's what i showed you then the page count which means how many count is your book from here you can see we have 137 over the side so 137 so what i'll do here now is i'm going to just make it 140 so that it becomes equivalent so i'm going to just click outside over here now i'm going to calculate this then this is the size of my document with this i am good to go so i'll be stopping here i'm not be telling you how to make i'm just trying to show you how to get the accurate size for your book, uh, book cover then you can proceed or you can uh, subscribe to my channel when i make video now to make a uh, book cover without errors and upload them so that you can watch how i upload all this to kdp though all right now we've done this we want to go straight to canva let's say for example you've gone to your design spotlight you've used the pdf editor you've imported your work from um, google doc to canva and you have your document like this that you want to edit let's say this is the document i want to edit i'm going to wait for this to fully load then we're going to check something so now uh well, let's just wait for some seconds because i believe network is the reason why this is not fully loaded yet all right so now it's fully loaded one thing you should know is you already bleed your document you already bleed your document you know what's bleeding you already know so that bleeding means as this image is here amazon please trim out any site that doesn't pertain so cut out any site that is not in this book so you can give them the liberty to cut out so now i'm going to play one video for those using smartphone so that you can understand what i'm talking about so the smartphone those using smartphone let me play this video let me just take it one step 
backward so that you can watch. So let's just play this. Okay. All right. Now, let me take it back again. Now, just watch. Now, you can see, I want to tell you, when you move in your document, Amazon always give you, uh, sorry, not Amazon, Canva will always give you where you should watch. You can see from here now, it's trying to tell you, A, don't go outside the margin. So I'm going to show you how to set up your margin. Click on that arrow or above there. Then turn the margin on. You can see from here, view the settings. Uh, then click on show uh, margin so that as you move your document or anything, show margin here. If I click on show margin, you will see what comes up. So it means when I'm moving my document around, you can see from here, I can see. So anything outside, let me pause this video. Okay, you can see anything outside these lines, Amazon might uh, frown at it and tell you, hey, resize. So ensure everything is within this margin, within this margin. That is it. So when you've done that, you are safe. So let me just play it and see. So I believe I don't have any other thing to show in this place. All right. That is how to turn the margin on. Now you're safe at the margin aspect and you still get this message from Amazon telling you add 0.125 or 0.25 to this. All you have to do now is to resize. Yes. For you to resize and show you in your project. Let me uh, look for that project. This is it. Search for magic suite. Whether you're on phone or you're on PC or you're on tablet, search for magic switch. So when it comes up, all you have to do is move on to custom size. Click on custom size. Now you can see I've already added points. So if this is this, for example, this is, use your calculator and add this. Let me drag this close to this. Now you are told to add 0.125 to your book page width. Then at the height 0.25. So all you have to do is the initial size add plus 0.125 you can use your calculator and do it anything you get there just put it so it's going to give you something like 125 here then ensure this is an inch if you're doing mm ensure you add this one 3.2 and this one 6.4 but since my work is based on inch i'm going to leave at in inches then at the other one i'm told to add um 0.25 that's what I just add to the uh, height of it and the width. So when you're good to go, the next thing you want to do is to continue with it. So he said at all page, if you don't want to select all page, you can pick some and um, change it. Because Amazon here now told me to uh, change some in some of my document. Let me see if they specified. They said page one to three, I should add it. Uh, 66 to 68 and 134 to 136. If you want to do that, it's very simple. You can just go for to this page and on check check the one you want. Then when you're good to go, you can continue. But if you want to affect all documents, you can just leave it at all once and for all by just picking this. Then when you go it undone, then yeah, you see this is checked. It means it's going to be changed. Uh, it's going to change to this new size. Then yeah, you can scroll down. If there are other options. No, so it on continue. From here, it's going to ask you two questions. Do you want to copy and resize? It means you want to make a copy before resizing, or you just want every document to be resized immediately. So you just wait for this to come up, then you click on copy and resize. After that, you get this. Sometimes the network can be uh, a bit um, slow. So wait for that to come up. When you go to go, click on copy, uh, click on resize. But what I advise is, you can resize immediately and just upload to your KDP dashboard. Just upload to your KDP dashboard immediately. All right, I believe this is an error from Amazon. Let me see if this can be fixed. Okay, all right. It's still in review because I got a message from them just like this that I should check that. So I just added that and I'm waiting for their um, congratulation message or error message. Don't be scared when you get messages from Amazon fixing your book. Just take time. Follow what I've said, whether in your book, ensure it covers all the template. If you are told to adjust, ensure you turn um, the margin on so that you can see where your book really is. Because if you don't turn it on, you can face problem. For those on laptop, you can see from here, it's trying to tell me so I can readjust this so that it doesn't go off. If this test, you can see from here, if you decide to move the test to something this place, it becomes an error. So Amazon is going to tell you, hey, when we trim this, we are going to cut this off. So you can see, you can see now it's trying to tell me, hey, if I move around, you can see it's try to point to the margin. You can see this is, this is the margin. So anything in this place will not be trimmed off. So I'm going to put that inside here like that and leave it that way. So now you can see, so you can resize and you upload straight to your 
uh, KDP dashboard. I believe this was helpful. I believe this should solve your problem. In case you're facing challenges, uh, at the description, there is a video on how to make the full design all from Microsoft Word calculation on your uh, book cover and uploading on Amazon till everything is successful. So in case you find this difficult, just watch, check the description. There is a link on how to do that. I believe you subscribe to my channel. Please share to your friend as well. And don't forget to like this video. I'll see you in other tutorials. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.